in addition to the arrival declaration and the support uh, of legislation that is put behind that. So by no later than midnight tomorrow, that's 11.59 uh, p.m. Saturday, states and ter territories will be quarantining all arrivals through our airports in uh, hotels and other accommodation facilities for the two weeks of their mandatory self-isolation before they are able to return to their home. If their home is in South Australia or in Perth or in Tasmania and they have arrived in Melbourne, they will be quarantining in Melbourne. If it's in Sydney, it will be in Sydney. If it's Brisbane and so on. This will be enforced by the state and territory governments. The Commonwealth will be supporting them with all manner of assistance which will relate to the work done by the border force, uh, logisticians and other supports that will be necessary. But those arrangements will be run by the state and territory governments in each, in each, uh, in each state. We will be supporting them also by providing um, members of the Australian Defence Force to assist in the compliance with these arrangements. Now, the other thing we are doing is we will be supporting the states and territories in the important work they have of enforcing the existing isolation arrangements for people who are already here. And the ADF will be supporting those states and territories with compliance checks to ensure that people are at their residences that they have so sworn that they would be at to ensure we get compliance with the self-isolation. Whether it's been the travel bans or the other restrictions we've put on Australian life, all of these things are making a difference. And I can assure you, I would rather be in Australia now with the way we are dealing with this together than in any other country in the world today.